it's Georgia from the Henster Kitchen. Today I am going to teach you all how to make crab cakes. I think you're going to be surprised how easy these are and you're definitely not going to believe how delicious they are. Stick around and I'll show you how. We are going to start with three cans of crab. I know it sounds crazy. It makes the best crab cakes. So we're going to start with two cans of just your regular crab meat and then we'll have one can of your lump. So let's start with just our regular crab meat. The thing I love, it's already picked. There's no shells. I'm not cutting myself. It's kind of a win-win situation. tablespoon of fresh chopped parsley. You can use dry if you're in a pinch, but it is really worth getting your fresh parsley. I'm using a sweet onion and I'm going to want about two tablespoons a finely diced onion. Now we want one half tablespoon of a sweet pickle. It tends to be about half of a pickle. The acidity and bite of this really brings out the flavor of your crab. So do not skip this one, even as strange as it sounds. Don't skip it. And again, you want a nice fine dice. And if you're like me and love pickles, you can eat the other half. We're gonna use the zest of half of a lemon be sure not to get the white. That's the pith. And that brings no flavor. It just brings um, a bitterness. I don't want to leave any of that good zest behind here. Get every little piece. We're going to use the juice out of that same half lemon. We're gonna use half a tablespoon of a Dijon mustard. I love a gray poupon. Two eggs. A nice three finger pinch of salt. Black ground pepper to taste. A third of a cup of good old mayo. third of a cup of good old panko crumbs. Now we're going to give this a stir to combine. Oh Lord, that smells so good. Now that I have it all well combined, I'm going to fold in my lump crab. Just fold that in very gently. Now, if you're not ready to use this, you can just put plastic wrap over it, put it in the fridge until ready to go. Or as I'm gonna do, form these on into your crab cakes and let's get cooking. It does not get any simpler than this. I have taken my cookie sheet and covered it in a layer of panko crumbs. Handy dandy ice cream scoop. We're gonna take a loose scoop of our crab mixture right into our hand. Get back there. Form it into our patty, like so, and right into our panko crumbs. And we're gonna keep repeating that. Thank you. 
We're gonna to top these with a little more panko. Press the panko down gently. You don't wanna break your crab cakes apart. I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator and let them rest in there while I'm heating up the oil. Let's test our oil and make sure it's hot enough. To do so, I'm just grabbing a couple of the panko crumbs right off of our cookie sheet, making sure we've got enough of a sizzle around it. I'm gonna give that about another one to two minutes for it to heat up just a smidge more, and then we'll be ready to go. Let's make us some crab cakes. <laughs> can you tell I'm excited? You can see my Oil is just starting to ripple a little bit. I've got a little bit of smoke coming off of it. I'm gonna back my temperature down to just a good solid medium. Now, as I'm picking up my crab cakes, I'm just patting in that panko crumb just a, just a little, just to make sure I've got a good coating. And then we go. Be so careful putting these in oil. They definitely try to hurt you. We're gonna let this cook about two minutes. On this side, you can see it's already starting to brown up on me, so I don't wanna let it go too far. Then I will flip it and we'll cook it for about two minutes on the other side. We're ready to flip. That's two minutes and already that beautiful golden brown. I do use my finger to support this as I'm flipping because crab cakes do love to fall apart on you. I'll meet you back here in two minutes. Oh, that's beautiful. Where I turned my heat down a little bit on the stove, I ended up cooking these three minutes on this side. So we've got a total of five minutes. And now I'm just removing them and putting them on a paper towel lined plate. Now this one's trying to break apart on me, as you can see there. It doesn't matter, it does not affect its taste, not one bit. We're gonna add our last two crab cakes in here. And try not to burn ourselves. I'm gonna set the timer for I think I'm gonna go three minutes now that my heat's down a little bit, and then we'll check back in. Ooh, those are beautiful. And we flip. And we flip. We're gonna do two minutes on this side, and then we'll be ready to assemble. Toasted just some Hawaiian sweet rolls, which to me is the perfect bread for our crab cake slider. We're gonna place our crab cake directly on our bread. This is our lemon aioli that we made. I'll be sure to link the recipe to this in the description below. We're gonna put a little aioli, a little bit of a crisp romaine lettuce, and our top bun. And there we go, we've got our crab cake slider. Thank you all so much for hanging with me in the kitchen today. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe and I'm hoping you're gonna give it a try. Please be sure to like, comment, share with your friends if you've enjoyed this. I would so much appreciate it. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.